how to master particles part two if you are completely new to particles in blender you have to go one step back and see the first video in this particle series if you already did that welcome back and let's get into it so in this tutorial here we're gonna learn how to take full control over these particles so we're gonna animate a particle system and we're also gonna mess around with the gravity so if that sounds interesting uh, join me on this little journey into particle land and if you're wondering about this uh, scene here I'm gonna give you a brief explanation on it at the end of this tutorial and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and I will answer them so now we can just take a couple of seconds and just enjoy this lonely boy sitting in a golden boat thinking about uh, who knows what he's thinking about my guess is that he is thinking about uh, particle systems in blender so let's just float into this uh, tutorial here okay so let's set up this scene real quick and then when we get to the more advanced stuff we're gonna slow down so I'm just gonna select everything here in X and delete and then we're gonna bring in a mesh and a plane and we're gonna scale up the plane like that we're gonna deselect it and we're gonna bring in an icosphere so um, click ICO and go to this little window here set the subdivisions to 1 we're gonna move it over at the Y here and now we want to give this uh, material and this material here is gonna be really useful for you to learn and super quick and super effectful so we're gonna bring in a object info node and also hue saturation and we're going to connect the random into the hue and the color from the hue into the mission and we're going to set the emission strength to 10 and then we're going to change the wall settings here so we're going to use Eevee and uh, check ambient bloom and screen and also go into world properties and move this color here from gray to black and now we're just going to click on this uh, plane here and now we're going to transform this plane into a particle creator or particle emitter so we're going to click on particle properties click this little plus icon here we're going to set the end uh, to 1000 we're going to set the lifetime to 1000 because we need some frames to work with and we're going to set the frame start to zero and we're going to go down to render and change this from halo to object and we're going to use the eyedropper tool and just click on this icon here and now if we go into render mode we're gonna have uh, this thing so let's also go down to field weights and set this gravity here to zero so now we have some rising particles what we also can do is um, click on this bigger icon that we created and change the color here to whatever is set it to blue green uh, doesn't matter this will give all of these icos uh, different colors so that is a really cool thing 
and um, now let's click on the plane again and we're gonna set the scale randomness on the render to 1 and now we can get into the real stuff so let's get into how we can uh, manipulate these particles to do exactly what we want so the first thing we need to have some uh, control over here is um, okay the best way I think to show you is um, to just get into it and bring uh, in some force fields so go shift a and go down to force fields and here you're gonna have a bunch of different effects to choose from so I like to think of these effects um, to be like different kinds of gravity so for example this vortex here will bring all of these particles into a, um, a circle loop like that so that is real cool and um, However, this is not the one uh, that I was using in my um, uh, artwork. So we're just gonna X this away and reset the particle system. And we're also gonna change this uh, back to our timeline. So uh, what we want to do here to create the same stuff that you saw in the artwork this is also a really good way to learn particles in Blender. Uh, so what I want these particles to do is to go up to a certain point, uh, hover around for a while, get to know each other a little bit, and then I want every particle to spread to every side of this uh, blender universe here so I want them to go, go up stay there for a while and then go to every side and the way to do that is to bring in something called a drag so not a drag queen but just a drag effect so we're gonna go force field and drag and um, to get this drag to work uh, so we, uh, we need to move it so uh, as you can see now this uh, other force field is still in effect even though we brought in this uh, drag here so what we need to do is move this uh, force field here so let's just bring it up slightly like that and now these particles here are going up and then they are completely still so we forgot one important thing here and that is uh, to change um, the frames in a timeline so um, let's set this to 1000 as well so always a good idea to set this number here and end number to the same number uh, as uh, particle settings so set this to 1000 and this one also to 1000 so so now we have this thing going on uh, and the first thing we need to get some control over is the height so we want these particles here to go higher before they are stopping on this line here so to do that we can open up this velocity tab and we can set this normal to a higher amount so let's just set this to 4 and play the particle system and now these particles are moving higher and before they are standing completely still so uh, this um, do, do, do. so uh, this reminds me 
uh, about uh, it's almost like a party in Norway in winter time where everyone is just standing there not doing anything so we want these particles to be more like a, a party in Brazil or something so we want them to um, bump almost bump into each other and just basically be moving more around not being super stiff and super still like this so to do that we can scroll down and go into physics and we can set this brown in to one so let's get this party going so we're going to set this brown in to one now these particles are not no longer completely still but they are going up and they are sort of like hovering around to get the to get to know each to get to know each other or maybe uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know but uh, they are, they are hovering so uh, let's uh, do the last uh, step here so now they are going up and they are hovering and what we want them to do is at a certain point we want to break up this uh, party here so the police are knocking on the door and we want some of these particles to jump out the window some of them to just uh, start going completely crazy and uh, doing stuff and um, just basically get all these particles to move in different directions so going from uh, control and into chaos basically so to bring in that kind of chaos uh, we need to animate this uh, timeline so what we can do to animate uh, a particle system is go down to fill weights and we are using the drag here so uh, let's put in a keyframe here so I'm just gonna go I I'm just ho hovering my mouse over this drag uh, and we are gonna have a super short party before the police arrives so uh, let's set this to 200 frames and we're gonna go I again so now we have this thing going on and uh, then we're gonna go to 300 and now we're gonna drag this dragger all the way down to nothing and set a new keyframe as well and what you also want to do is go up here on the mission and we're gonna set this end here to 200 so now all the particles will be done moving uh, at 200 frames or not done moving but uh, okay you, you will just see so they are now coming up and um, they are getting to know each other for a short amount of time and then they are spreading out nicely like that so when you are playing around with this particle system here I strongly recommend you to go in and try to just uh, animate whatever kind of force field you're using because that will sort of like take this uh, uh, particle uh, style of yours to the next level so this was basically the setup that I used for this uh, artwork um, the only difference where that I had uh, more frames so I think I had that lifetime to four or five thousand and also the end here 
to 4000. Uh, so um, I think this is it. Uh, so let's just get into the next cool part. So I'm briefly going to show you the setup for this artwork. So let's uh, get into that. Okay, so how did I create this uh, artwork here? So first off, I just want to say if you can uh, subscribe and that would be really helpful and uh, it would keep me motivated to create more videos like this. So uh, in this scene here, okay, so that was uh, uh, my notes falling down. So in this scene here, we have three planes. So if you just stop the animation here, we have a 2D image in our background. We have a water, just a simple water material. And uh, straight underneath this water material, if I just hide it here, we have this particle emitter or particle creator. So this is sort of like the little trick to make this scene interesting and cool is to bring uh, in this uh, particle system straight underneath this water here so these particles will float through this uh, reflection and uh, create some cool looking effects and then at the sides here uh, we have um, just two simple mountains like that uh, I made them um, black so I just created them with uh, taking an emission and just going complete black like that uh, so the function of these is just to bring you in to the image almost working as a silhouette so this boat here uh, I downloaded with Blender Kit and also this moon with this material. And here you probably didn't notice that this character is does actually have its own animation. Uh, so if you are wondering about uh, uh, animating stuff, uh, you can check out my full Mixamo tutorial uh, where I explain how you can combine different uh, uh, Mixamo uh, animations into one character so that is on my page um, and then I briefly want to explain a little bit about this 2d image here so when you bring in a 2d image like this for your back background um, you want to make sure that the image is in high quality and also that it has a lot of uh, information in it so if I scale this image up like this you can see that the entire artwork uh, is uh, starting to get uh, more and more <laughs> uh, how do you say it nicely not good right so you want to make sure that you have a high quality image with a lot of detail on if you're going to use it uh, in the background so um, if you have any other questions um, leave a comment and um, Subscribe if you can and have a great day wherever you are.